was here. Here, as in standing here. No. <laughs> yeah, literally, I was looking at him, I blinked and he was back over there. No. Seriously. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not shitting you, man. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, something weird is happening. Ooh. Don't hug me, I'm scared. You know what? I've got this real urge to go and put these in the wardrobe. Why? It, it feels like that's where they should be. Excuse me, I'll be back in a second. What the uh... Are you done? Maybe I'm orange. Welcome back to our second instalment of the week and act two of Indiana Jones and the Conqueror of the Universe. The Conqueror. Thank you, as always, to everyone for checking us out. If you are new to the channel, then please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing and ringing our bell to be kept apprised of new content. Thank you. And of course, if you do want to you know, support us in other ways, we do have a Patreon. We do, we do have a Buy Me A Coffee, or in this our case, Buy Us Popcorn. Go on, Buy Us Popcorn. Yeah. Please. I mean, the stuff on the Patreon, we just try and put sort of outtakes and, in some cases, little bits and pieces that we couldn't include. Indeed. So, it's all very loose. <laughs> Goosey goosey. Mm -hmm. No, that's for another time. <laughs> I didn't start it. You didn't. But before we start, quick shout out. Mm. Somebody I haven't done this one for, for a while. So this is for Brian Mills Music. Who, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, he's a singer and he does covers of, of popular music. Very nice. We all yep. love music here. We love music here. Yeah, it's got pretty good voice. Yeah, and, um, all very quick. Uh, uh, there'll be a link as always in, in the description below acoustic covers it's kind of like karaoke <laughs> so we'll have the track playing and then he'll be singing over the top of it uh, oh cool alright so sort of pre-recorded karaoke mm. alright okay cool stuff love it thank yeah. you sir thank you for supporting us are you good? I are you so. lost in, 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 in a universe far far away? actually no sorry that's that's the wrong it's the wrong franchise. This is a universe an indeterminate amount of distance away. We have to calculate it in Mongo miles. Right, 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 right. So, we are at the beginning of Act 2. We are at the beginning of Act 2. Indy is revived. Mm -hmm. Zarkov is programmed. And Willy is drugged. It's when they get to the flight to Arborea. That's where, again, I think things are going to go a little bit differently. Yes. I mean, I, I did wonder if Aura is going to have to be a lot more forceful with him to stop him trying to go and rescue Zarkov. And he's a bit more willful, I think, than, than, than Flash. Oh, he certainly is, yes. It might even be that she has to say, if you try this now, Willie's certainly going to die. Well, that sort of scuppers possible future conversations, doesn't it? Because, you know, he has a conversation with Dale. No, I'm talking about when, when he's trying when when she's getting him out of the prison. When she's Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah, when right. they spot Zarkov, he's gonna try and want to go in and save him and she's gonna have to try harder to get him to go, No, you need to come with me. Oh of course, yes. To, that's what I was talking about. Of course, yes, no, I agree completely. Yeah. Uh, she will have to because he'll be much more, as you say, forceful yeah. about it. I do think when we get into the um when we get onto the onto the rocket ship mm. and they're flying. That's what I was talking yes, about. Yeah, so yes. when we get onto that bit, I think part of the seduction mm. that she does is is she puts the hat back on his head. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she climbs under his lap and puts the hat yeah, on his head. Yeah, Yes. Oh, aura. Sorry, sorry. Talking about what I was saying the other day, I was always interested in the girl that wasn't the lead. Mm -hmm. Aura was totally... Oh, Dale, mm -hmm. she's cute. Yeah. Aura. Oh, <laughs> goodness me. 
I would like to get to know that girl. Yes, very much. <laughs> but never mind. Let's yes. moving on. We're moving on. So you were saying though about the flight. What do you think was going to be different? Once they were away, he would be more forceful. He's less polite to women than Flash is. He is, yeah. He would put her in her place. Probably would, actually, yeah. To some degree. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost, I don't know, I'm almost imagining a reverse of the scene that's actually in the movie where he takes control. And tries to plunge him into Phrygia. No, it would be the other way around, that Mm -hmm. he would take control and then she would... Try and wrestle it away from him. Cause an accident Mm -hmm. and wrestle it away from him, sort of thing. She would have to remind him that he doesn't know where he's going. Yes, that that would make sense. Were you still going to get the telepathy? I think so. That's kind of the whole point of that scene, isn't it? Although, in this case, I think he's going to be a lot more incredulous. He doesn't believe that it's real. Oh, of course. Just, yeah. so it's almost like, again, even though it's not intentionally that he's baiting her, he does, so she kind of goes, oh, well, I'll prove it to you, by, and then puts him in touch with her. Yeah, he'd, he'd be, like, more incredulous mm-hmm. of their technology. Uh, he'd be like... Oh, it's just some kind of radio, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They told me it's telepathy, but I understand it's just some kind of radio. Yeah, because yeah, we could also, in the idea of, as you were saying earlier, or saying earlier, as you were saying last time, about there being mirrors and parallel scenes in, in this film, we could almost mirror this in the rocket ship as he's looking around at the controls with the bit in Temple of Doom where he's going, right, altimeter, blah, 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 on the, um, dashboard, on the dashboard of the plane. Mm-hmm. when he notices the fuel's out. So he starts doing the same thing with the controls on the on the rocket ship, oh, trying to figure right. out how it works. Yes, yes. So we can see him yeah. doing the thing, investigating. Yes. We're still then happy that Willie is still going to try and break out, that she's not just kind of comfortable in... Of course she's he's not. <laughs> he's a creepy old man. He is a creepy old man. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, no, not good at all. But I don't think we would get cartwheels and stuff from, from Willie. Well... You pointed out she's a dancer. I mean, aren't mm. dancers quite? Yeah, that's true. I just I don't know if she would. I don't. I, mean, I can't see Willie Young on the attack like that. Like like, like Dale does. Oh, I, I, I could is, see the same scene playing out, but her the whole time her going, oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no. So it's slapstick. Yes, um, everything happens just by coincidence. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's good. God damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, thank no, no, you. No, 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 no. It was in my head. It was a bit of a sticking point because I was sort of slowly starting to lean into. It's kind of like that bit in. Um, I'm trying to think of that bit in. Um, I robot. Damn, she just shot at you with her eyes closed, Paul. Hey! It's like that. You know, it's like yeah, everything just accidentally happens. But that makes sense. That works. That gets us to. Aborea. Of, uh, Aborea, Agent Zarkov, Gordon's alive, and we get to the ritual. So we get to, yeah, so they arrive, and then obviously, yeah, again, this is when he's kind of in his this element, climbing around in. One of those things, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you know the young man who's undergoing the ritual? I oh, know, it's Peter Duncan. Peter Duncan from, from Blue, Blue Peter. Peter. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when he went on Blue Peter and he was like, I've just been in a, fe- a, a, the- a, a theatrical film. I remember it, I do and remember watching about it as it. well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm cool. Like, yeah, cool. That, yeah. I wasn't oh, no. sure if you'd be too young to remember. No, 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 I remember. Yeah. I remember watching it. But yeah, and it was like, oh, it's, it's his big break in Hollywood, and then never, you know, never did anything at all. No, I know, poor boy. No, but you know, good on him. Good on him yeah. for doing it. But yeah, that was a couple of things I didn't realise. I knew he was in it. Obviously, I knew Richard O'Brien was in it. But again, reading movies, um, he pointed out that the other person who I didn't know in it was Deep Roy. Oh, of course, or his little little pet. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> of course. I thought he looked familiar. Yeah, it didn't occur to me until after he'd said it. So again, thanks. Ah, for there you go. Things you learn. But, of course, the other guy who's in it as well, um, who I spotted, is John Hallam, who plays uh, Voltan's right hand. Tall guy with big, dark, sort of greyish hair. When, he, when Baron says about um, trial by combat, yes. and Voltan says, is there such a law, the guy that he, he answers him? Oh, of him, yes. He's John yeah. Hallam, I've seen him in a few things, and he's also... Well, to go before we get to it, but he's in one of the um, Sylvester McCoy Doctor Who's. And he's I was going to say, I was wondering if he was in Doctor Who, because yeah. he looks like the kind of British actor who could yes, have been in Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah, very much, yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry guys, yeah. there'll be a slight tangent warning here. So, uh, but yeah, obviously, uh, Indy's more in his element in the, um, in, in the forest, crawling about on the vines and stuff. Indeed. Um, but again, I can imagine him being absolutely fascinated just by the size of the trees and things. So I imagine that Indy's very curious mm-hmm. about the land of Orboria. Yeah. And he tries to talk to Prince Baron as a scientist. Of course, yeah. You know, I'd, I'd like I'd, your culture, your 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 rituals are fascinating. I'd love to learn more. Mm-hmm. 
I have nothing to teach you, Earthman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which did make me again wonder when they put him down in the swamp. Yes. I can see India having more of a chance of getting out of that. Yes. I know if... We... Yeah, this is where it starts to get wobbly. Yes, because if we still want to keep the bit with Richard O'Brien, then he can't. But I can see him getting out of that before they put him down there. I imagine, you know, there's that scene where it's like, um, uh, hold on, Hawkman, hold on. Yeah. You know, he's trying to get the other prisoners to yeah. stay alive. That maybe he works the, the lock loose mm-hmm. and starts to escape, but just as he flips it open... Up at the top of the vine oh, okay. yeah, yeah, is yeah. the movement, and he has to sort of suddenly close it close again. Close it back down again. Yes. Yeah. Nice. That serves both because we we show his skill, his ability, but but we keep we said we can't manage to preserve the plot. Managed to preserve the plot. <laughs> as well, yes. We managed to preserve the plot. Yes. I'm assuming that's what you meant by. It was actually. I was just taking a pause because I knew I was going to burp before I was to get that out of the way and then carry on afterwards. Well, as long as we understand each other. We do. <laughs> We've been at this too long. Okay. Um, yes. So that works. Then so, get, so then obviously, yeah, we, so we get, as you said, we get um, Willie and Zarkov being picked up by the Hawkman. Yes. Which I imagine is just... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More screaming. <laughs> yeah. Even more screaming. Baron plots. Basically, we get to the bit with the test. Yes. And this is again where it's going to go differently. You think? Indy's more savvy. I think he knows it's a trick from the beginning. You know, that he's not going to be allowed to win. So I think the way that he deals with it would be different. Okay. What do you, what do you have in mind? I'm not sure. Let me see. He doesn't have his whip. No, actually. No, I'm being stupid. He has no other option. He has to do the same thing that Flash does. He's okay. the only armed person within reach. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's going to go the same. It's going to go the same. Look at that. Oh, dear. It looks a bit boring. We wanted to go different. The other option would be... Let me think. No, 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 you're right. I was just thinking, would you just, just wallop him straight away and take his sword? But as you say, he's surrounded by guards, and it's only when they, they drop their guard for a moment, because they think he's... All right, okay. All right, no, all right, okay. no, 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 I, no, actually, I think... I know, actually, sorry, I think this would go completely different. Okay. He knows, he knows folklore, he knows tradition. He knows that when they first arrived, they were not allowed into the temple. So if that guy's saying, oh, it's in here, I don't think he's going to believe him. I think we avoid the test altogether. Oh. I think Indy's too savvy just to walk blindly into the temple after knowing that he wasn't allowed in during an initiation. It's a, so, sacred, it's a sacred place. So uh, Richard O'Brien rushes into the temple and goes, the weapons are here, they're here. Mm-hmm. Indy stops at the the, the te- at, at the um, at the threshold. Yeah, I I can't go in there. Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. The weapons are here. Right. Okay. Okay. So what happens? I think they try and spring the trap when they see that he's not going to go in. Uh-huh. Maybe he has a wrestle with a couple of the guards, jumps onto one of the vines and gets away. They go to go after him, and Baron goes, "No, he's mine," and goes after him. So the hunt happens as it the hunt does. happens, but I think we lose the test. Right. Okay. Okay. Savvy to fall into. All that. right. I think I can agree with that. It's a little bit boring. It is a little bit boring, but I did think that we, we, if we lose the test, we get a longer hunt. Cause right. Oh Indy's yes. Indy's bushcraft is a bit better. Indy's bushcraft is a lot better. Yes. Yeah. Again, I still think he ends up falling into that big creature because it's it's stuff impossible that he's, to know that exactly. It's there, yeah. You know? Yeah. But it might be that when he goes down, rather than going straight down to the floor, he uses the trees a bit more to mask his his um. So that it, so it's harder for a Baron to track him. Oh right, does a bit of uh, a bit of an Arnold, uh, 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 a bit of an Arnold. <laughs> yes. So again, so we just change, we just move the action scene from the test to the hunt. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 But invariably, maybe it's um, Baron gets a sight of him. He takes a shot. It blows out the branch that Indy's about to sort of grab hold of. He falls to the ground. And the big monster grabs him. Ah. Uh, yeah, and then, so then we lead into... The Hawkman taking... Turning up, yeah. Yeah. Which brings us to the Hawkman City. And of course, yeah... I'm, I'm sorry, but can you tell me if this is going to go any different? Because although Indy is a rough and ready hero, he's always trying to do the right thing. Yeah, I can't say this going any different. I think we will get a moment almost, almost like a, a flash to camera when they throw whips... 
for them to fight with. And he grins. Yeah. And he grins, <laughs> yeah. that cheeky little grin. Yes, yeah. we'll have, definitely have to have that. But no, ultimately though, I can't see it going any different. Because I mean, if you if you compare it to, which is interesting because it's, it's not far off as well in, in terms of runtime, in terms of how we split these down. Even when he has the fight with Pat Roach in, in Temple of Doom and he gets caught in the big roller, he still tries to save him. Of course though, he does. Yes, yeah. of course he does. He's not... He's not a murderer by nature. No. No, no, I see what you mean. Yes, good point. So it would go the same way. I, the only thing I think that we will have lost through some of this is how much they lean into how quickly about we need to all team up and fight because that's very much the focus as soon as they arrive at Ming's Palace. We need to get these people to fight against him. Yeah. I don't know if we'll have as much of that in this production. No, he wouldn't be so much you have to join up and fight. He'd be more like, you don't have to do this. This isn't the right way to do things. There's got to be another way. There's got to be another way, but he wouldn't necessarily say, you have to team up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you might get a bit of that from Zarkov. I mean, that was the one thing that I oh, know... Oh, yes, Zarkov. Yes, we've got to give him yeah. more credit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that was the one thing that I was going to, I did mean to mention earlier on, sorry, at the beginning of the act, when we see Zarkov being conditioned. Mm. Obviously, his memories are going to be completely different because we're in 1935, so we'd more see maybe him fighting in the First World War. Yes, of course. Going or back to, like, the 1890s. Just move everything back to the previous conflicts. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And yeah. probably ending up in sort of the 18, 1890s or something whenever depending on how old you're supposed to be what, about 50 maybe 40s 50s yeah so I was never 18... quite exactly sure but I was pretty yeah. close to that yeah so we get some stock footage of Victorian England I know he, I know he's not English but just you know or you know that kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah absolutely but that pop, pop, pop. takes us to trial Sorry. by combat <laughs> it does uh, and, and to the death of Clytus although I did say with that one I think it should be just Baron I think Baron just grabs him and throws him on ah absolutely yes yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would show Baron's commitment better. Exactly. And that's it. That is, <laughs> that is it. it. That's we are... the end of the second act. We have done the job. It's kind of reasonably easily, this one. I'm t- I mean, there's a couple of little things, but... I'm not sure if we're making a boring movie here. I'm, I'm a bit worried. I don't know about boring. I mean, it's it's... We've only lost a couple of bits... I don't feel like we're doing anything new here, but that's just me. That's my thought. Also, aside from, again, doing the thing with the hunt. That's yes. about the only thing, about really. the only thing. It's yeah. tweaks here and there, because we know that the character, our central character, is still... I didn't expect it to run on rails this way. No. I expected there to be more deviation. I suppose the only thing that we could we could do different, or could have done differently, I mean, I, I, I don't, we didn't really want to put, like, a MacGuffin or anything in there. Indy's an archaeologist. He's after something. It's always something that he's questing for. And that's the one thing we don't have, so we don't have any kind of goal for him. I mean, it's clear what Flash is doing there. They're trying to save the Earth. We haven't kind of lent into that at all. I don't feel like he's got an opportunity to have something to go for. Exactly. I understand what you're saying. I, mm. I agree. Yeah, yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. That's possibly why it feels, uh, feels oh, a bit flat. It's a bland. tough one. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, because that's possibly why it feels a bit flat, because we're not leaning into, like, the fundamental of India as a character mm. and what he desires and is after. I'm really interested to see what you think, folks. Um, uh, please let us know in the comments below because I'm, I'm a little worried that we're making a kind of boring movie here. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So please do, yeah, do let us know uh, down below and uh, any of those that we find interesting, we'll we'll, um, we'll make sure to mention them next time. But as, co- as course... As course, of as course. As course, that's the one. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend. Have a brilliant start to next week. We will see you on Wednesday. Take care. As always, guys. TTFN. Ba 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 ba